During the Vietnam War, large numbers of ground attack aircraft were shot down by small arms, surface-to-air missiles and low-level anti-aircraft fire. The fast jets of the time proved ineffective for close air support. There was a need for an aircraft better suited to survive these ground weapons, and better suited to provide close air support. In mid-1966, the U.S. Air Force formed the Attack Experimental Program Office, or AX. In March 1967, the Air Force issued a request for information to 21 companies for a design study, for a low-cost attack aircraft. A-1 Skyraider pilots that had operated in Vietnam, had provided insights into the effectiveness of current aircraft that operated in the role. They had identified the need for an aircraft with long loiter time, low-speed maneuverability, massive cannon firepower and extreme survivability. The aircraft needed was described as an aircraft combining the best elements of the A-1 Sky Raider, the Soviet Ilyushin IL-2 and the German Henschel HS-129. At first turboprop engines were requested, but this was later changed to turbofan engines. A more detailed request for proposals was issued in May 1970. It identified the threat of Soviet armored forces and all-weather attack as more serious than before, and the aircraft was to be designed specifically for the new 30mm cannon. The maximum speed of the aircraft should be 460 miles per hour, it should be able to carry a 16,000-pound weapons load and have a 286-mile mission radius. It was also important to keep the production cost low. Six companies submitted proposals, and Northrop's and Fairchild Republic's proposals were selected to build prototypes. These prototypes would be designated the YA-9 and the YA-10. Northrop designed the YA-9 as a shoulder-wing monoplane of all riveted aluminium alloy construction, with honeycomb structures and chemically milled skills. The twin Lycoming YF-102 turbofans were fitted under the wing roots. The aircraft had a cruciform stabilizer, to improve directional stability for low-level flight. The split ailerons could be used as air brakes, that operated asymmetrically in conjunction with the rudder. This allowed to apply sideways control forces, without yawing or banking, which made weapons aiming easier. The cockpit was surrounded by a bathtub of titanium armor, although it was only made of aluminium in the prototypes. The fuel tanks were self-sealing and filled with foam, to minimize the risk for fuel loss and fires. The single 30mm GAU-8 Avenger cannon was to be fitted in the belly of the aircraft, with the gun barrels extending under the nose. However the 30mm gun was not ready for the prototypes, so they were fitted with 20mm M61 Vulcan cannons instead. The YA-9 flew for the first time May 30, 1972. Northrop produced two prototypes, and the flight testing was successful. The aircraft fully met the U.S. Air Force's requirements, but despite that, the Fairchild Republic YA-10 was declared the winner in January 1973. The deciding factor was probably that the YA-10 used an already established engine. The two YA-9 prototypes were transferred to NASA for further flight testing, before being retired.